Hey g one, welcome back to another episode of Is It Worth It? So today's episode, we have this cool, amazing product right here in my hand, if you can see. Basically what this is, is a product that you can use to open the door, or if you guys want to use it for pressing the button on the elevator, you guys can use it for both, which is pretty awesome. But first thing first, let's take it out to share what the product looks like first. So the one that I got is a pack of two, as you can see right here. It's made out of brass material. Um, there are some of these in the market that comes in a pack of four or five. Uh, those are probably a better deal than this one, but I didn't need too many of these. But if you guys do want to get a better deal, then definitely go for the four or five packs. I'm not too sure how the quality are for those, but this one is definitely a really nice quality product overall. You guys definitely hear like the high quality brass material that they use on here. But this is basically what it looks like as you can see. So you guys have this little slot right here to put in your keychain or whatever. If you guys want to put it onto your keys or whatever. You guys get this little hole slot where you can actually put your finger in like this. You can use it to press the elevator button using this part right here. And then there's this hook part right here that you can use to open the door. And they also mentioned that this part right here is in use as stylus, but uh, I tried it a few times and it didn't work as a stylus. I'll show you guys what I mean right now. So like for example, I'm using this screen right here on my iPhone. You guys can see. I'm trying to use that as a stylus, but it doesn't work. But it does mention that you guys can use that as a stylus. So that's kind of like a false advertisement for this product. But it's not a big issue for me because even if it was a stylus, I wouldn't really use it because it might make scratches or it might crack your screen or not because of the brass material is super high quality. So if you guys go too hard, then bam. There goes the screen. But the product itself does work well for using for elevators or opening doors and whatnot, as long as it has the bar to open it. If you guys have like a doorknob, then obviously you guys can't use this to open the doorknob because how are you guys gonna like open it or pull it or whatever. So that's basically everything that's on the product itself. Let me just go show you guys a quick test of the product first and then we'll come back and talk more about the product in a second. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys a quick test of the product itself right here since I don't have like elevator in my house or whatnot, but I'm gonna use this to show you guys how easy it is to use. So if you guys even wanna like press like a, a light switch like this, really easy to use just like this, if you guys can see. Nothing really hard, and you guys don't really need to use the hand to uh, press and whatnot, so that's pretty cool. So really easy to use in every day for the buttons, but let's try out the uh, little handlebar right here and see how it works. So like, for example, right here, as you can see, there's like a little turn knob right here, so it's not like actual bar where you can pull it out, but you guys can still use this to open it just like this, if you guys want to, if you guys can see. So just like that. And closing it obviously a little bit harder because it's not actual like a bar or not but you guys can use it to open it like this so you guys don't have to use your hand another way you guys can actually use this product is to like open up like stuff like this and put it down or you guys can use it to close it like this but it might take some time for you guys to do it correctly but it does work like that if you guys can see so here's another situation that you can use this for as well so you can use a little hook to pull it like this turn, to turn on or turn off the light or whatever you guys can be using for like this if you guys can see really simple to use as for doorknobs like these, it might be a little bit harder to kind of use it if you guys can see, but you guys can still use it. It just probably won't be as easy to open it if you guys need to turn it like that. But you guys can still use it to like drag it or pull it open or whatever. But if it's completely closed, then you can't really do that using the little knob. Alright, welcome back guys. So now that I saw the quick test of product, you can see it actually does work and it works quite well. Very simple to use and super handy, especially with the whole coronavirus thing happening right now. You guys want to be as safe as possible to try to not use your hand as much to like open stuff or click on stuff or touch stuff as much. So this is a very cool product, especially since it's easy to clean, you guys can just wash it, like sanitize it or whatever. But now that we did the quick unboxing and testing of the product itself, now to answer the question of whether or not it's actually worth it or not. So honestly, I think these are actually really worth it if you guys want to need one of these, especially if you're actually trying to be more safe. <laughs> I get a germaphobe in a way, but uh, definitely a really cool product. It's really, really worth it if you guys want one or need one of these. But then obviously for those guys who don't want one or don't need one or have no use for one of these, then obviously don't buy one and save your money for something else that actually you do need. But other than that, that's pretty much it for the quick unboxing and testing on the product itself. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, then make sure to subscribe, like, and comment down below. And if you guys like this video and you guys want to see more, then make sure to click on that bell notification in the bottom to be notified of new videos that will be coming up in the future. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace. And then for today's G-Squad Fan Show Day, we have...